Amid the bustle of Broadway, against the bad economy and the crushing competition, at the Strand, the show goes on. Started more than 80 years ago, this independent bookstore has beaten the odds, surviving the Great Depression, World War II, and Fred Bass, who was a baby when his dad started the Strand, says the store is enduring these tough times, too. Mainly by having good books and good prices. Lately, we've been selling a lot of new books at discount, but it's mostly used books or bargain books that we sell, or antiquarian and out-of-print books. The Strand's eclectic approach allows it to appeal to a broad array of clients hunting both the trivial and the treasured on its shelves, like this rare signed copy of Ulysses by James Joyce. What are we selling this one for? That's the, huh? $25,000. A bargain, really. But the Strand's success is about more than inventory. Employees, top to bottom, must possess a deep knowledge of books and embrace the idea that they are maintaining a business, yes, but also a community. There's just a comfort here where people feel willing to open up and just have 30-minute conversations with you in the aisles, even when you probably should be working. The Strand has kept up with the times, too. To compete with mega bookstores and internet retailers, it now offers almost all of its books online. Still, it could be argued that in these days of everything moving faster, the Strand's winning edge really comes from going slower. There's something about being able to just browse through all these aisles and uh, hold a book and read a book and look at a book. That's wonderful. The bottom line of all this, even with the economy down, sales at the Strand are up. And another great season of holiday shopping is going on the books. Tom Foreman, CNN.